everyone, and thank you for listening to the Writing Gym Podcast. Today, Annalisa speaks with a guest whose name you may recognize. It's author Vanessa Talbot. They're going to talk all about how to write an entrepreneur book that sells. If you're looking to write that high-quality book that opens doors for you and your business, this episode is for you. Happy writing! Hi, Annalisa. <laughs> hey, Vanessa. Good to be talking with you. Yeah, so it's midday here in Australia. I don't know where it is. Annalisa's in the U.S. Um, yes. of A, of course, as we say down yes. here in Australia. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, uh, it's 9 o'clock at night here on the East Coast. Okay, well, that's fair enough because I do stuff at 9 o'clock to midnight anyway, so... <laughs> Perfect. All <laughs> oh, the life of the coach and the entrepreneurs, isn't it? Indeed. Indeed. All right. So for people who are coming on to join us, uh, my name's Vanessa Talbot, of course. Most of you may know me, but if you don't, I'm a profile builder for coaches and change makers who actually want to build their audience and get their message out there. Um, basically, you want to get known, so that's what I do with you. And, of course, I'm talking today live with Annalisa Parent of Laurel Elite Books. Tell us a little bit about Laurel Elite Books so people can just get an idea of what it actually is. Sure. So Laurel Elite Books is a hybrid publisher. We take entrepreneurs and we t help them from idea through publishing all the way to selling their books so it gets into the hands of the people who need to read it. Um, oh, good evening. <laughs> Uh, so Sherry's joined us already. Hi, Sherry. Good to have someone jump on so early. I know it's live, so we don't always get people coming on to a little way into the into the live. So hi, Sherry. Sherry's in the US as well. So it's evening there for you as well. Uh, Sherry, Sherry's actually a um, a writer as well, Annalisa. So I don't know if you've come across one another. We have had a great conversation with her last week about her projects. So. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so is Laurel Elite Books, like I'm kind of just trying to get my head around this, like there's self-publishing and then there's traditional publishing. Where does Laurel Elite sit in that in that scope? Yeah, I'm so glad you asked that because it's smack dab in the middle. So hybrid yeah, okay. publishing really takes advantage of, you know, in self-publishing, the really cool thing is you decide on your cover and what font you want and all of these kind of style choices. But then oftentimes writers are left with a garage full of books because they ordered them and then nothing happened. So self-publishing can be difficult in that way. Now, traditional publishing is really awesome because you've got all of the power of a traditional publishing house and their marketing machine but of course, it's really hard to get your book published. So hybrid publishing is that really awesome sweet spot where you've got a lot of control over what your book looks like in your end product, but you've also got all the power of the publishing house and its marketing machine. Yeah, I was actually looking at some of the books um, that have come out from you and like they're like selling if I think I saw there was half a million copies and of some of them, you know, you know, some of the lower ones, like we're going out at 40,000 copies and 20,000 copies, but I'm sure there's so many of us out there that would just love the idea of even selling 20,000 copies. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's really the advantage of this kind of publishing is, you know, it's all well and good to write a book and we're really proud when we see our name on the front cover of a book. Yay. Woohoo. But if, if my readers aren't reading this, then it's not really serving its purpose. And that really drives what we do. And in addition to that, what drives what we do, you know, we're called Laurel Elite Books for a reason. It's because we want books that are high quality. You don't just want your message in front of your readers. You want it to be clear and you want it to be stated well. So, uh, that that's what differentiates us. We're really helping our authors to get their book into the hands of readers, uh, but we're also helping them to get their message out there in a way that is elite, that really showcases what their message and their unique thing that they have to share with the world is. Yeah. Um, I was looking, you know, my book, Extraordinary You, came out five years ago, and we don't really publicize it or anything. We haven't done for a couple of years now, but we did a really, really good stint with it when it first came out. And I was sitting there the other night, and, you know, anyone who's on my email list would have got this email as well, because I sat down and I had a good think about, you know, five years ago, I was a brand new coach. 
um, you know, I had a few clients, but, you know, it wasn't at all known. I think I was still in coach training school as well as doing the coaching. And I decided uh, I had heard my mentor say, um, you know, I kind of said, well, what's one of the quickest ways to get known and build my profile? And she said to me, write a book. Mm. And I thought, oh, that sounds easy. <laughs> And so it probably took me 12 months, I think, from the conception of the idea I'm going to book, write a book, to then putting it out. Uh, and I know that you can do it much quicker, but that was the time span I took. And remember, I did a lot of this on my own. Um, I did say I had some help and I got some great editing and that, but I did a fair bit of the whole idea and the idea of what, how I was going to market it on my own. And I sat down and I had a thought about what did it actually do for me as a brand new coach? Because that was actually my first product, my book. That was one of the very first products that I actually had, even before I had, uh, I think I had the book and an online program. They were my two first products for anyone who's just started out in coaching or change making, you know, and wants to uh, start building your audience and get your name out. They were my first two. What did the book do for me? And I sat down and I looked at it and I thought, well, what happened was that readers started contacting me and I was getting love notes, you know, and <laughs> you, you would love notes from readers saying, oh, I love your book. It changed my life, you know, and, and some of those readers became firm friends as well, mm -hmm. which is amazing, you know, uh, and, and some of them became clients. So the book started reaching out and you know what, even, a month ago, because the book's no longer in production or anything, but it's still out there, you know, doing the rounds, and I think it's still in libraries and stuff like that. So even though I no longer publicise it, I think only a month ago I got a call from someone up in Queensland saying, I've got your book, I want to work with you. Wow. You know, and that's five years later, guys. So anyone who's listening to this, you know, the power of having a book that actually you can get out of your garage and out yes. there is amazing. Um, mm -hmm. And then I was thinking, okay, so that's just, that was just the idea of building a fan base and getting some clients from it, from it. But what did it do for my profile? And I remember that, uh, we, we did a lot of promo for our book, which is why it actually did quite well. And one of the things we did was a big bookstore out here in the CBD of Sydney called Dimmix. We did book uh, signings and launches everywhere that we kept, we could. We got out there and we did it. And one of the ones we did was in Dimmicks in the CBD. And we got a celebrity TV guest who I hadn't met at the time. Uh, and we got him in. And so, of course, he brought people into the book signing. And then he and I be actually became firm friends. So it started to open some doorways into that, um, you know, celebrity field for me. So that's another plus from it. And then, of course, uh, Dr. Demartini, you know, you, many of you will know Dr. John Demartini. We actually approached him to endorse the book. He did, which was lovely. So we had his prime endorsement for my book, Extraordinary You. But then what happened to, no, oh, about maybe 16 months later, I think, is I got a message from Dr. John Demartini saying, would you like to endorse my book in return? He had a new one coming out. Ah. ah, yeah. And so I said, yeah, no worries. Send it over. So send it over. You know, obviously read the, the look, book. It was The Values Factor. So any of you uh, who are Demartini fans, you might have that book, The Values Factor. And I endorsed that for him. He used it. So, and he used me on his sales page and everywhere like that. So what happened there was then I started getting um, – I then started to have a new, whole new audience given to me, so to speak, in his right. people as well. Right. So my list jumped quite rapidly from that mm -hmm. endorsement of Dr. John Demartini's, which was through my book. So that's just a few of the things that happened. And then, of course, what happened from that? Everyone saw my connection and my endorsement of Demartini's book and then his code endorsement of mine. I'd be then be getting lots of other people coming to me and saying, I want that too. How do you do it? So then I was starting to get messages and phone calls on a weekly basis of people wanting to know how do they get their book out there? How do they get to connect with some names? Um, how do 
because they could see my profile and everyone starting to talk and, and kind of I was a bit of a name at the time on the lips for actually getting that book out there, connecting with these people. So that's what it did for me as a brand new coach in those really, really early days. It was so cool. So this is why I wanted to sort of say, Annalisa, that a book done well, and mm -hmm. that's what we're talking about, we don't just want them sitting in the garage, which is unfortunately what happens with um, many aspects of the self-publishing sector. Uh, people don't get that extra help. You, with Laurel Elite Books, you take it that step further. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because, you know, as you said, you saw the power of a book in your life in the ways that it augmented your business and really accelerated your business, right? Because there are people who have been coaches for a couple of years mm. who, who aren't at your level, who, you know, are just spinning their wheels. And, and the thing is that, you know, there are any number of things that we can do. And this is what you coach on to kind of get ourselves out there into the world. But the thing that's unique about a book is, as you said, you know, five years later, somebody can pick it up on a bookshelf or, you know, see it in a, a hostel or something that they're, yeah. they're, they're <laughs> you know, it's Don't just a it's still there. <laughs> Um, you know, and, and the really cool thing about books is that, you know, socially, at least in the United States, I'm sure this is true in Australia, you know, friends pass books on to friends and say, gosh, you got to check this out, right? And that's not going to happen with your business card or with a brochure or with a really cool website or, you know, those things aren't going to happen for you. And, and books are a way for us to get to know someone really intimately. If you think about your favorite book characters in your life, like you carry those people with you. You loved them or you hated them, whatever the case was, but they, they moved you in some way. And, and a book is an intimate conversation between the reader and the author. And, and you can't replace that with, with even, you know, video is wonderful, but it doesn't replace that relationship of, of cozy readership. And, and because that relationship is established, the kinds of things that you're saying, Vanessa, happen, right? You feel like you know the author. And so you reach out like they're a friend or you feel like you know the author and you say, Oh, I don't need to know a whole lot about your business. Like I absolutely know, Vanessa, you're the person I want to work with because I loved your book. Um, those kinds of things happen because of the intimacy that's created from a well-written book. Yeah, and let's not forget also, um, you know, let's talk about the other things that having your own um, book that shows your expertise um, can do for you. Let's talk. It's It's going to open possible speaking events for you. It did for me. That's another thing that my book sent to me. Can you think of other things it can open? I mean, I can think of a ton of things, but I'll let you talk. Yeah. <laughs> And, and that's the thing that we do at Laurel Elite Books as part of the marketing plan, right? Because you're saying speaking. If I say speaking, some people are going to say, ah, oh, no, never, right? And so in, as part of the marketing plan, this is a really cool cycle that happens. So let's just take speaking, for example, right? You say, I want speaking as part of what I do. And, and so books beget speaking and speaking begets sales of books and there's revenue, right? And then yeah. books begin speaking and speaking, right? And so it becomes this really pleasant awkward <laughs> cycle um, yeah. of, of whatever happens, right? Or, or you know, you say Facebook group and book and we pair those together and people read the book and then more people join the group and then more people read the book and then more people, right? And so it, it creates these really positive cycles for people in whatever their goals are, you know, whether it's speaking or whether they want to go on the university circuit or whether or not they want to do more workshops, retreats, whatever it is, um, there ends up being this real positive cycle that you've witnessed for yourself where things just start on this really nice upward spiral and we've got momentum and it all started with a way. Yeah. And, of course, let's not forget the fact that a book, and I mean a good book that you've got out there, will start to open the doorway for you with other influences as well because with that book, you're kind of up-leveling yourself, aren't you, and your expertise, your credibility, and it starts to open doorways for you. And this was the first thing I learnt with, um, of course, Dr. Demetini, who I never, ever expected an invite back. I just said, can you endorse my book? Yes, of course he did. And then I get an invite back later on 
um, to do his, which was totally unexpected. So people start to perceive you in the way that you want to be perceived as well with a book. Yeah, and I mean, here's just my success story. You shared one of yours, but this just happened to me this week. Um, you know, I had given a copy of my book to an author friend that I have, author acquaintance. She stayed up all night that night reading it. She absolutely loved it, which, you know, first of all, that was flattering because this is a best-selling author. This is someone, this is a British author who's sold uh millions of books, uh, written over two dozen books. And this is a prominent, prominent person. And after she had finished it and thought on it, she said, you know, you're, you're a really brilliant writer. Let's do a project together. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So that yeah. kind of thing start to happen for you where you say, wow, you know, and that means a lot to me because I'm a writer and an author and a writing coach. That's my, venue that's my genre and so that that's really meaningful to me you know people in your realm will do the same kinds of things as they start to see you as an expert and you've got this high quality product that really is genuine to who you are as a person as a coach and what your brand is yeah yeah uh, I just want to remind anyone that if you are here and you're listening and even if you are listening to the replay if you've got any questions at all about what a book can do for you or any questions um, even around what hybrid publishing is that's what I did wasn't really sure so thank you for that explanation uh, any questions at all just pop them in the comments there I will be able to see them Annalisa and I can see them and we can answer them for you if it's on the replay of course you're listening to this we'll always come back and check so we'll still get to answer you um, yeah so I think you know I get a lot of my people uh, saying I want to write a book uh, but a lot of them kind of go down the line of wanting to just whip something together quite quickly and then mm -hmm. putting it out there um, I don't I don't mind you know quick I think quick can be great but I do believe that you've got to do things like get a proper team I, and the, the editing, you know, some marketing help, all that sort of stuff because so many people are putting books out there and then, like you say, they end up staying in the garage and not selling. Um, so, yeah, I really love that idea that with Laurel Elite Books, you actually have the team to actually help us the whole way through. And I'm just going to put it out there. I'll be working with you with my next book um, in 2018. So let's lead into that because this is the big news we have for Australia. And that is, yes, Laurel Elite <laughs> is coming out to Australia. Tell us more because, um, yeah, great high quality books. I will be doing my next book with you, with Laurel Elite, and you're bringing it all out to Australia. Tell us more. Yes, thank you, Vanessa. I am so excited to come out to Australia. So we will be outside of Melbourne, and you're going to have to help me with the pronunciation of this mountain range, the Dandenong. I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you stuff up, stuff it up. Let you stuff up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a beautiful country. It will be my first time in Australia. I'm bringing my team out. Uh, so Ingrid and my marketing team will be out there. Uh, to work with people one on one. And, uh, so just so you know, what, what does it look like to work with a team? Well, we're creating high quality books so that you have, um, the best in cover design, the best in layout, the best in interior graphics, um, the best in writing. That's me and uh, my editorial team. And then also the best in marketing, because as Vanessa and I have been talking about, it doesn't mean Jack, as we say in the U.S. I don't know if you say that over there. If yeah, you, we uh, know. Okay, all right, good, universal term. Uh, it doesn't mean anything if you've got a book and you can't get it into the hands of your readers. So we're really comprehensive, we're really thorough, and we want your message to be really clear. So uh, we're going to work with you for the two months before the retreat. We're going to get you a quality product, and then we're going to have a heck of a time finalizing that getting you your website, getting you some photos to put on your website, creating video, creating your lead magnets. This is really the full package, the whole deal that really, truly takes you from, I think I'd like to write a book to, oh my gosh, I'm selling copies. I'm selling lots of copies. People are writing yeah. to me telling me they love my book. Yeah, because that was one thing that I worked out very early uh, was that 
I couldn't just write a book and then expect it to sell. I had to, you know, and, you know, I did get some great help. I said a wonderful editor. I had a great gal who helped me with the publishing as well. So, you know, getting it published, which actually um, getting that done. Um, but the marketing side of things, I had to figure all that out by myself. So the <laughs> fact that you're there and you can have some, you know, help and guidance with the marketing, um, the fact that you're creating landing pages, I had to figure out, how am I going to market this book? So, of course, one of the things I did was like um, a mini summit and giveaway type of thing, which worked really, really well. But, yeah, I had to get landing pages done and all that sort of stuff. And all of that I had to work through by myself. So with this particular retreat, so this is a, a, this is a whole book writing um, experience. Mm -hmm. We work with you for eight weeks before the actual book writing retreat, mm -hmm. which is down in the Dandenongs. Dandenongs, yeah. yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Outside of Melbourne there. So if anyone wants, a, you know, and I think, is it five days or seven days we're down there for? Five days. Uh, so five it's days. actually seven and five nights. Yeah. yeah. So if anyone wants this, you know, gorgeous time to um, to have a bit of rest and relaxation along with some of the work that we'll be doing down there, it's a beautiful place. And, and I've seen the places that you're looking at. They're just gorgeous. So we work with you for the eight weeks beforehand. Then we show up at the retreat. And then there's the after support as well as the book is getting manufactured so to speak is that the right word yeah, still in touch with your coaches as we're in production um, because there are some details to finalize um, some decisions to be made in the post production um, and then we have the uh, mastermind that lasts for 12 months to support you as you're selling and marketing the book and also fulfilling the goals that you put forward in your marketing plan, helping you to figure out, uh, okay, these options weren't viable for speaking. How can we find some new ones? Or, you know, whatever sort of issues and problems come up as you're working to sell your book, we're here to support you. Yeah, so it really is full on. You're getting a whole book writing, not just book writing, having a book to use it to build your audience, build your name, experience there with you with this particular program. How Absolutely. do you think it's a, yeah, how do you think it's a little bit different? We, I mean, here in Australia, we do have some other fantastic book writing programs, um, you know, and there's great people behind them. Um, how's this one going to be a little bit different? Because I know you and I talked about um, making this one a little bit different, a little bit extra special. How are we, how are you differentiating? Sure. And I mean, you know, entrepreneurs have to choose the retreat and the experience and yeah. the book program that's going to work for them. And so our focus is really on high quality. You know, there are others that might focus on speed or that might focus on I don't know what else, but um, that's not our focus. Our focus is really on writing the very best book that you can with clarity to reach your specific audience and to build your audience quickly. So, you know, we're really focusing on elite. That's why that word is in all of our branding because your elite, your special, your message is elite. We want to get that out in a special way. And our retreats are a pampering elite experience. We're at beautiful resorts all around the world um, in an experience that's inspiring to you. That's why we chose the Dandenongs. It's a beautiful place of your country. It's very inspiring. Uh, it's a great time of year for walking and kind of, you know, getting inspired in that way. So well, that's really important to what we do and how we do it. And we also have a heck of a good time. I mean, we're serious about getting the book done, but we're also, you know, we're there to enjoy each other's company, to network, to learn from each other and to laugh. Yeah. So um, when is the retreat? We better give some dates out for people to yes. consider. <laughs> Hi, Mandy, as well. Hello, Mandy. Hi, Mandy. We're going to start on the evening of March 17th. It's a Sunday evening. We'll meet 
uh, up at the resort in the Dandenongs, and uh, we'll we'll have a meet and greet. We'll probably have a wine and cheese uh, kind of reception and get started, and then we'll start in earnest on Monday morning, and we will dismiss on Friday afternoon that week. Yeah, and in the in the eight weeks beforehand, where will you have gotten us in that eight weeks that we've actually started working with you? Um, that's a, that's a bit of one on one, isn't it? Absolutely. So the eight weeks, yeah, the, Absolutely. The, we do the the eight weeks of one on one with you um, before the actual retreat. So what's happening in that that eight weeks before the actual retreat? Sure. So we've got a two track system. So during that week, uh, you'll be meeting with me and my team and you will have your writing editor. So you'll be meeting with me sometimes and you'll be meeting with your personal editor to go through, you know, does this make sense? Am I putting it in the right order? What do I say next? Sort of all those questions. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the writing track. And then over in the marketing track, you'll be creating your marketing plan, uh, putting together your book cover, putting together the branding for your book, uh, all of those preliminary steps that need to happen for us to finalize the marketing steps at the retreat. So there is a time commitment, Vanessa, and I'm glad that you brought that up. You know, this isn't just sort of show up for a retreat, leave the book. That's not the way that we do things. There is a time commitment in the time leading up. Uh, you can start as soon as 12 weeks ahead of time, you know, if that works better for your schedule. But the minimum is eight week, uh, an eight week commitment ahead of the retreat. Yeah, yeah. It's um, like you're saying, this is a little bit different in that we're doing a lot of pre-work with you before we actually get at the retreat. Uh, so what are we covering most in the retreat then? Because if we're doing that pre-work with you for all that, that time beforehand, what's the five days going to um, have us at? Sure. So this is all of the things that we need to do in person. So obviously, you know, photo shoots and video are very important. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but also, you know, we, we will have worked together for eight weeks together ahead of time, and so we will know each other. But there are certain things that we can do in person that are just much more efficient as far as, you know, literally putting our heads together, looking at a manuscript and getting together. And then, you know, uh, for, for Ingrid's part, and I know you're going to be interviewing with her at some point, but, you know, she's really going to be helping with the marketing piece, and she'll be getting to know you over video but it's also really nice. She's going to be helping you to draw out your strengths to market your piece the best. And that's something okay. that happens well uh, in person. Yep. And then how long should it actually take for us to actually have our book ready from, um, uh, uh, let's say, from the retreat? So once we finish the retreat, um, how long after that do we actually have our book in hand on average? Or what are we looking at? You're looking at about eight weeks at that point. Yep. Um, and, and, you know, the authors are a big part of that in, in finalizing the layout and the manuscripts. And, uh, you know, you're going to get some digital galleys to read through. And, you know, you're really, that's, that's your last chance to look at your manuscript and it will look like a book, you know, as far as like the formatting, it's going to look like what the page layout as opposed to a Word document. Uh, and that's your chance to look at that. Those kinds of things happen and then uh, we're good to go. You'll have an ebook and a print book available. Yeah. So actually, if anyone is thinking of it's 2018 is my year to finally use a book as a profile building tool for me. And like I said, they can work really poorly or they can work magnificently. And even for someone like me who really, I'll be honest, had no clue what I was doing, I was able to make a book work for me just through sheer grit and determination. So imagine having you and your team on their side or on our side. I can see the difference already. As I said, for me, I was really green. So for anyone who else out there feeling green, and you do want to make sure that you produce a quality product that is actually going to sell and is actually you know, going to do the job that you want it to do. For me personally, one of the reasons I want a book is not so much about the sales, okay? I don't think of around the book sales. It's more the profile building, the name building, the connections that mm -hmm. I can actually do to start to enhance um, me moving further and further and moving my scale further and further. So that's the way I look at it. 
So I just look at this Annalisa and I go, wow, if I could do that and get those results that I've already shared at the beginning of this from someone who was totally green, she just put a bit of effort into it um, rather than just, you know, I just knew the book wasn't just going to sell on its own. I had to do something. And then you've got your marketing team and your expert writing, coaching and everything else in putting a book together. I didn't do any of that. I didn't have that. So what I can do this time around is probably going to be even more amazing than what I was able to achieve that first time. And I, that's what I want people to think about and have a look at, you know. Yeah, you'll have to spend some money, probably more than if you just dish a book up and then just go and get it self-published. There's no doubt about that. But look at the end result. It's the end result that matters. Um, and, and that's what we're saying, Annalisa. It's not for everyone, is it? But for those of you that really, really want to upscale and go to that next level and use the book and actually get all that assistance, the marketing help, this is absolutely a great way to go. Yeah, and I'm really glad that you said this isn't for everyone because this isn't sort of, you know, kind of like this cookie cutter factory type thing. I mean, this is a really limited, small, intimate retreat. Um, mm. so so it isn't for everyone and it's a really small, small group. And we've done that on purpose because we want yes. to be able to give. I mean, I think that there are as many retreat participants as there are members of my team. If that, oh, wow. kind of, <laughs> that's how much one on one attention you're going to be getting in this experience. Yeah. yeah. When I, as I said, I just keep going back to my first experience as a brand new coach with writing the book, you know, and it was very much just do it all on your own and, I had some great guidance, but to have the continued guidance that this particular program with yourself and your team at Laurel Elite are going to do and, and the fact that we can all get together at the retreat as well. So we get to work with you and your team beforehand for a minimum of eight weeks and then we all get to get together at the retreat and then, you know, by even before the middle of the year, we will have our book and we'll also have them actively marketed as well. So you're not just yeah. going to get a book and, and, and go, now I have to market. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and, and part of our program, I'm glad you said that, is about pre-selling those copies so that copies are sold before your book is even out. And that's phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. So so watch out, Spotlighters, because I'll be starting to pre-sell. Um, and, of course, my book, of course, is going to be around this area that I work in now in very different comparison to what I first wrote a book in, which is when I was doing the straight life coaching. So big shift for me, but certainly more in the direction that my business has now gone. Okay, so if we have any uh, – and it's for men and women, isn't it? Anyone can come along, yeah. can't they? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So – if you have decided 2018 is finally my time to get that book done, and I know there's a few of you out there in that space, um, I said su my suggestion is to have a talk with you, Annalisa, first, because you have to work out if you're both on the same page, if 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 the 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 person, the coach, or the change maker, or the entrepreneur, whatever you want to call yourself, because um, that's the people you deal with, isn't it? Entrepreneurs, coaches, change makers. Yeah, cool. Uh, so if this expert book is something you want to do, then have a chat to Annalisa and see, you know, what the go is. That's that's a good Aussie way of saying it. Go and check out what the go is. Have a chat first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just want to say, you know, you have the registration link up here somewhere. And um, so the application process okay. is to fill out the application and then we'll have a chat. And people have come to our retreat who have written six books. People have come to our retreat who have written New York Times bestsellers. People have come to our retreat who have never written a book before or even more than a blog post. So there's no sort of entry level uh, and there are no wrong answers on the application. We're just trying to get to know you and we want to serve that we can serve the best. So that's the purpose of the questions that we ask when you schedule your time to have a chat with me. Okay. Well, I can't even find us live on here, but I'm sure we're here somewhere, but it's not showing up. But as soon as um, we pop up this, I will pop up that link so okay. people can hit that link. And if you are interested and you just want to have a chat to find out more about it, then you can fill out that application form and Annalisa will be in touch with you. Um, 
And um, any questions at all, of course, you can either contact Annalisa directly. Don't call, contact me directly about the book marketing retreat. I'm just one of the participants. <laughs> Annalisa's the girl with all the knowledge. Uh, I just know some people will reach out to me. Um, if you've got inf information, I mean, got questions and that, send them to Annalisa. Um, but, of course, you can put them in the comments here as well if you don't mind your question being seen by everyone else because then it will help others as well. Okay. Thank you, Annalisa. We'll be popping in um, every week over the next two months just to talk books, um, you know, and so if people have got questions that they want answered, send them to us as well because we can craft these little lives and, and do these as Q&As for you. This was more an intro so we could tell you what's going on. But we'll do little Q's and A's and answer your questions and that on anything to do with, uh, you know, pros and cons of self-publishing versus traditional versus hybrid in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Any profile building questions as well, that, that will help me. And, of course, um, Annalisa will be, still be able to help with the marketing side of things as well. Okay. Thank you so much, Annalisa. We will be back every week to talk books uh, leading up to this retreat because I'm on a roll now with this book thing. It's, yeah, I decided 2018 because I, I was almost going to get it done this year, 2017. Um, but I don't know. I just thought, no, I'm going to do it 2018. And then I found out about your retreat and what you're bringing out to Australia. And I thought, that sounds like me. Yeah, I love it. I love it. And yeah. we might want to mention that the early bird registration oh, is yeah. open November 15th. So we're opening it today and uh, it's open through November 15th. Yeah. So early bird, um, go and check that out. Um, have a chat with Annalisa, but it is until November the 15th. So if you've got any inklings that this is for you, even though the retreat's not till March, we're talking, weren't, weren't we? Mm -hmm. March, yep. yeah. I know I've got it written down, but it's just so far ahead. The retreat's not till March. You'll, you need to do this pre-work as well. So you've really got to, if you want this to happen in 2018, you've really kind of got to think, is this something I want to do and get, get right into action with talking to Annalisa and seeing if, you are both a match for this particular program. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, Annalisa. We will be back each week talking all things books. Catch you all later. Bye. Bye-bye.